We're answering Realm questions today. And here's a really great question from our friend, Michael. He sends in this comment. I have set up a search for a client. There are 192 search results under the criteria. I know that happens a lot. And I want to email all the listings to his client. However, we can only email 100 at a time. How do we do that? What's the best way? Well, there's a little bit of a hack that we can do, again, using lists. Lists, if you haven't followed along, is one of my favorite things to do. So let's share my screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Here's our dashboard, of course. And if I go into our search at the top, it takes me to my most recent search. Uh, my default search is actually here in New Market, and you can see currently there's 211 results for all uh, freehold property types. Let's just flip that over to, uh, we're gonna look at Detach to just fine tune that a little bit. So we have 160, and yes, I wanna send all these listings to my client. Maybe we're doing some research together. I don't know. However, I wanna be able to email them all. And how do I do that? Well, we're gonna do a few things. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, in fact, is change your layout to table. Now, what this does is line up all the listings here so we can select them all at once. However, if I try and email this, we got this uh, error or notification, as I should say, to say, hey, please choose 100 or fewer listings to email. You idiot. You can't email that too many, too many listings to, to whomever, your client. So what do we do? Here's the little hack. In fact, I have, still have all those listings selected, and I'm going to hit the down arrow once again, and I'm going to add to list, go my list, create new list, and I can name this anything I like, uh, new market, top 160, whatever you like, hit add, all of those listings got added. How do I know if I go into contacts, click less or make sure list is highlighted. You can see there's 160 listings that we just added. If I click into there, we can do all sorts of things. I can add, I can remove and everything like that. But if I try and do this, if I clicked all of these listings here, let me back out just a second here. If I go into here, what I need to do is make sure that I am on the table format. At least that's the way it's been working for me. And if I select all of these, here's what happens. You can see if I scroll all the way down, it has two pages. And the last listing is 410 Clear Meadow Boulevard. And if I scroll back to the sea, I got 100 of 160 listings that it is going to select and email for me, or at least do whatever I tell it to do at this moment. I can hit email. Our window pops up over here. Give it a second because it's pulling in a lot of information. And if I scroll down, you can see 100 listings. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that 410 clear meadow i hit send and of course it goes to the appropriate recipient cancel out of there because we don't want to do that just now i'm going to scroll down all the way to this page and click page two and scroll down again to the bottom and we should have uh the next number here so what's that that's going to be 59 properties in fact uh scroll up to the top hit select all and if I go to email, let that come up for us once again. And you can see, oh, I should say 60, <laughs> my math. So there we go. We, now we are taking that next property, 33 Goldsmith, which you can see on my screen, on the dashboard screen. If I scroll down, the last uh, property is on Bathurst Street. If I scroll to the bottom here, Bathurst Street, hit send, done. So. That, my friend, uh, Michael and others, is how we would send multiple numbers or over 100 listings to our clients or to whoever they have to go to. A little bit of a hack and way to do that. Use lists because it'll just keep breaking them down into groups of 100, I guess you could say. Hope you have an amazing day today. Bye for now.